Well, welcome back. Now onto Twitter. Is Elon Musk about to go on another buying spree? The Tesla CEO teased that he might buy up more iconic American companies in order to restore them. Uh, Musk suggesting that he might buy Coca-Cola. Uh, he might... Uh, uh, well, there you go. Next, I'm buying Coca-Cola, he writes, to put the cocaine back in. Uh, he wrote uh, on Twitter yesterday. In another tweet, Musk said that he might buy McDonald's to fix the chain's notoriously broken ice cream machine. Later replying, listen, I can't do miracles, okay? All right, guys, so we got to talk about some updates regarding Elon Musk buying Twitter, okay? Because there's been uh, some news that has come out over the past week that is giving us a clue in regards to what Elon Musk is going to do uh, with his new platform. Okay, as everybody knows that he's going to open up the platform for more free speech, or that's what he says he's going to do. We really don't know until he actually takes over. However, you know, people are wondering, uh, what does this actually mean for Twitter as a business? Okay, in the business model of Twitter, which definitely needs some work. And there's been some information that has come out that have uh, given us some hints in regards to what Elon Musk may or may not do uh, with Twitter from a business perspective. And I wanna get into that because this is going to affect whether or not Elon Musk is actually gonna be able to allow free speech on the platform like he says he does. Because the argument uh, that a lot of these social media companies use uh, to defend censorship is that, well, advertisers don't like it, right? Advertisers don't like it. And if advertisers don't like it, then we have to censor, okay? Because they're the ones that pay us. They're our customers, not you. You're just a user. You're the product, right? Uh, that's just kind of how it goes. So with that being said, one of the first major moves uh, that was announced last week is that Elon Musk is expected to serve as temporary CEO of Twitter after the deal closes. Now, I was shocked to hear this, right? I wasn't shocked to hear that the CEO is going to be fired, Peral Agarwal, because he is very uh, pro-censorship. Um, but I was shocked to hear that Elon Musk himself was going to take over as CEO, which means that Elon Musk is going to have a very hands-on influence in regards to the direction of the company, okay? And I'm, again, surprised by this because Elon Musk is the head of like three or four or five other companies, right? So you would think that this guy has his hands full, and I didn't think that he would be this hands-on with uh, Twitter, but apparently free speech means that much to him. So with that being said, we're going to talk about this because there's also a report that came out that Elon Musk plans to fire 1,000 Twitter employees, right, as a part of his plan to revamp the company, right? He also wants to quintuple revenue, get 69 million users paying $3 a month, and cut reliance on advertising income, a presentation to investors show. So this is a part of some of the things that Elon Musk wants to do that he thinks is going to make Twitter great again. Right. Uh, and a part of that also means if you're going to work at Twitter, then you got to work hard. Right. You got to work hard as Elon Musk uh, basically has warned the woke Twitter staff that they will face an extreme workload when he takes over the company. Right. But insists they will not work as hard as him to make the firm a success. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Other than the news of Elon Musk taking over, I am pretty sure this is the worst news that the wokes uh, have gotten. Right. Because, you know. A lot of these far left revolutionaries, particularly those that don't like capitalism, uh, they don't like capitalism because they don't like to work hard, right? If you don't like to work hard, you're probably not going to like capitalism. Capitalism rewards those who like to work, okay? Which I'm telling you, that's the reason why a lot of these people really don't like capitalism is because they don't want to put in work. So that being said, let's actually read about uh, some of Elon Musk's plans uh, in detail here. Elon Musk has warned Twitter staff they face extreme workloads uh, when he takes over, uh, but insists he'll still graft even harder than them to make the firm a success. The tycoon replied to an earlier tweet he shared about his plans for the social media network Saturday and wrote, quote, also work ethic expectations would be extreme, but much less than I demand of myself. His original tweet had outlined Musk's tech-focused approach to running the firm and said, quote, if Twitter's acquisition completes, a uh, company will be super focused on hardcore software engineering, design, uh, infosec, and server hardware. I mean, that sounds good to me, right? They should be more concerned on that than uh, wokeness, right? And uh, I would imagine that a part of the 
thousand plus Twitter employees he's going to fire, he's probably going to get rid of the diversity and inclusion department, right? <laughs> which will be an automatic upgrade. We'll be able to slash some costs and maybe you could actually pay for some decent talent, right? Some decent engineering talent. If you cut the fat off, right, of the company, which is all the woke diversity and inclusion people that they have there, right? Uh, and the censorship team. Need to get rid of them as well too, right? Downsize that and cut the woke diversity and inclusion staff. I'm pretty sure that would be a good start to, again, making this company more efficient. Musk's latest revelation is likely to prompt further wailing and gashing of teeth among staff at the famously progressive San Francisco-based company. They spent recent weeks moaning about Musk's $44 billion purchase of their employer, with many claiming that the entrepreneur's hardcore defense of free speech is harmful. The deal is likely to be completed within the next six months and has sparked widespread uh, speculation. Musk is planning a queue of a thousand existing Twitter staff to boost profits. Within the next three years, Musk anticipates making thousands of new hires, swelling the ranks to around 11,000 employees, up from 7,500 currently. Much of the new talent is likely to be in the field of engineering. Numbers at the company would fluctuate rising to 9,225 employees this year before falling to 8,333 in 2023, then adding a further 2,700 workers by 2025. Most of the jobs being shelved uh, would occur during the takeover period, according to a pitch deck must present it this week to investors and seen by the New York Times. Yeah, so um, I hope that, again, most of those employees uh, that he is cutting Again, are, are the woke ones that are pro-censorship, uh, the ones that don't actually have real jobs, you know, like the diversity and inclusion staff. You know, those jobs, I hope they're the ones that get cut, right? Because, I mean, look, most of those people are probably going to quit anyways, okay? Because they can't stand the fact that somebody that has a different opinion than them uh, is taking over the company, okay? But what it sounds like Elon Musk is trying to do here is that he's trying to make the platform uh, censorship resistant from a business model perspective, right? Being less reliant on ads because you're gonna try to get users to pay, even though I hope that he keeps the platform overall free for just normal, regular people who just wanna, you know, tweet and see other people's tweets. I'm pretty sure that he will. Uh, and also from an internal perspective, right? Getting rid of uh, the wokes at the company and cutting off some of the fat, right? That's holding the company back. Um, so with that being said, again, this is exciting stuff, okay? Uh, and I'm excited to see elon musk's uh new twitter platform however uh we got to protect this man <laughs> we really got to protect this man because the establishment does not like the fact that he is doing this that he's making twitter a free speech platform and elon musk apparently is aware of this okay <laughs> as he sets the internet on fire with a cryptic tweet about dying under mysterious circumstances Tesla CEO Elon Musk ignited a firestorm on social media by suggesting that he might die under mysterious circumstances. While some on Twitter rushed to the conclusion that he might fear the Clintons, it seems the CEO may have been referencing a potential threat from Russia. So if you guys uh, can recall correctly about Elon Musk and Russia, uh, he's been uh, engaging in electromagnetic warfare <laughs> with Russia over uh, his Starlink uh, satellites and communication uh, platform. Okay, uh, as apparently Russia has been trying like to to hack it. Okay, and, and SpaceX has basically been, uh, you know, doing anti-hacking measures against uh, Russia. Right, so he's currently literally in a war, right, a space war with Russia. Right, again, this guy is absolutely insane. But yeah, Russia definitely sees Elon Musk as a threat. Okay, they ain't not liking Elon too much here. Uh, quote: If I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing you. Uh, Musk, who is also the CEO of SpaceX and who recently acquired Twitter, posted on the social media platform. Uh, when Musk's mother, Mae Musk, responded, quote, that is not funny. Her son replied, sorry, I will do my best to stay alive. Yeah, don't joke about that, Elon. You the last person that can die right now, right? You cannot die right now. Please don't. Please don't, okay? Many commentators suggested that Musk might be afraid of former uh, President Bill Clinton and his wife, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, playing off of the conspiracy theory that the Clintons were involved in the Jeffrey Epstein suicide. Yeah, I mean, if you say the wrong things about the Clintons, you know, just saying, um, things happen, right, sometimes, okay, particularly if you're a journalist, particularly if you're a journalist. Hey, I'm not making any claims here, I'm just saying it can be a coincidence, I'm just saying I'm just saying, quote, do you have dirt on the Clintons? Digital strategist Greg Price asked, wait, what do you know about Hillary Clinton? Uh, comedian Tim Young asked, 
Quote, the Clintons began trending on Twitter in part due to Musk's tweet, which garnered more than 52,000 retweets Sunday night. Other reference, a tweet from John McAfee on October 15, 2020, in which the computer programmer and the antivirus software producer stated that he had no intentions of committing suicide after he was arrested in Spain on tax evasion charges. Quote, I am content in here. I have friends. The food is good. All is well. Know that if I blank myself, a la Epstein, it will be no fault of mine. McAfee tweeted. McAfee was found dead on June 23rd, 2021 of apparent suicide in his cell shortly after the National Spanish Court authorized his uh, extradition to the U.S. Yet, unlike McAfee and Epstein, Elon Musk has not been arrested and is not in prison. From context, it seems that Musk was not referring to the Clintons as a potential threat to his life, but rather the Russian government. Shortly before his cryptic tweet, the Tesla CEO cited a message from Dmitry Rogozin, a former deputy minister of Russia, who sent a statement to Russia media condemning Musk's Starlink satellite company for enabling the, quote, Nazi Azaz Battalion to access the internet. Yeah, so like I told you guys, um, <laughs> Musk has been engaged in like space warfare <laughs> with Russia, right? And knowing uh, the Kremlin and Putin's history of, um, you know, often people who uh, stand in their way, uh, I understand exactly why Elon Musk would put out a tweet like that and low-key be concerned about his life, okay? Because uh, he is, again, taking on the Russian government. And Putin doesn't necessarily have a peaceful history of dealing with his enemies, okay? Um, so that being said, we got to protect Elon Musk. And that brings up the question that if something was to happen to Elon Musk uh, and it happened because of Russia, I wonder what the Democrat establishment in the left would say, right? Would they be cheering that on? Okay, or would they be condemning Russia, right? I want you guys to think about that. How do you guys think the left would react if Russia uh, actually tried to uh, do something to Elon Musk because of his Starlink platform and his role in the Ukraine war? I'm pretty sure a lot of leftists would go insane trying to think about who to support in that situation. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.